Oh. oh my god, we have a hallway. Basically, we've moved in with my dad now. Water, it? Our, yeah. our little commentator. Uh. <laughs> Here and then at the end, this will. That's going to be the doorway going into your suite, which is over there. Done a good job, hasn't he? Oh wow. We got through it. And I had a breakdown because I did actually have just an absolute. Sweet angels, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now, then hi, my name is Imogen, and today is another renovation vlog. So, currently 34 weeks pregnant, renovating a whole house. It's all fun and games. We answer lots of different questions in this video, and loads and loads of progress happens, plus a minor blip, the biggest blip we actually had. Massive, massive issue that was really gonna put everything on hold and it was a sort of a rush but yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you go and follow our home account and enjoy talk about open plan living just gonna get some stuff out of wardrobe <laughs> wait I need to come out so I can show them look at that look at that come through again Spencey just gonna get my suit out of the wardrobe yeah <laughs> yeah all right <laughs> we haven't got any wardrobes left <gasps> and here we go Slightly well, orange from the light. Welcome to open plan living, living. with the Hortons. So Spencer knocked all this through today. Mm -hmm. He knocked all this through, ready for Josh to come and build up the walls for Just tomorrow. Gonna pan around and show yeah, them. look, like there is so Beautiful. much. So like, yeah, I took out the walls here. Yeah. The wall I, I can't even I can't this remember. This was a cupboard. So there yeah. was a cupboard here and a cupboard yeah, that's and they right, joined. Yeah. Yes. So basically we're pushing this master out to here. Mm -hmm. Then the wall is coming all the way out to here. It is indeed. I'm just going to stop all... you there one second. Yeah. Spencer knocked it all through. So there was a cupboard here. Massive wall there. Massive wall there. We could probably turn the light off. It might be better. Okay. Our little makeshift light. We love it. No, it's so dark. We'll check back in in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we're looking this morning. Very open plan. Josh is here. Very happy to have Josh. He's got starting to build up this wall now. But look, wow. We are absolutely loving it. Hey, I'm really excited because I've got to show you what we did yesterday because we tried to vlog and then it went completely dark. So yes, let me show you now. Here we go. So yesterday we knocked out all of the walls. So the wall went from there, no, that was, sorry, went from here, this bit here, and there was cupboards here where I'm stood actually, where I'm stood, so maybe if I come out of that section, the cupboards were taken out there, and there was some more stuff taken out over there. So, amazing. So Josh is here today, he's building the walls, he's started getting on a bit already, you can see the little laser beams lining things up, I think they're so cool, the little laser beams, I love it. So yeah, we're building up the wall here, the wall here. There'll be a wall coming across here. So today, yesterday was a case of me getting all the walls out of the way so he can come in today and put up the new walls. But it's really exciting. So I'm just, I'm doing some bits downstairs. I can't really do much today because it's all about Josh doing his trade, which is carpenter. So he's putting up all the, the walls and they're all timber frames. So that is his, his line of work sort of thing. I'm downstairs just sort of, because we've had a lot, of, we've had the plumbers in this week, we have the electricians, so there's a lot of plasterboard everywhere. I'm just trying to make it cleaner and more livable so me and Mills can, you know, live here whilst all this stuff's going on. Um, I can hear Josh absolutely going for it up here because got, he's got like this um, nail gun and I can just hear it firing off and I'm thinking, well, it's a bit like Silverstone to be honest. It's a bit like you blink and it's gone. For those that don't know, basically I went and watched Formula One and the cars are ridiculous. You can't even like turn your head back like that. You literally just got to stay in one spot. So I was like, I think we've got a case of this going on upstairs right now. And sure enough, I've come up and this is what's going on. Josh is just doing this bit over there, measuring up the next bit. So we now have a wall going all the way across. So this is the wall as you come up the stairs. So that will be part of like the sort of like, I don't know, hallway entrance so I think there's going to be if you see the light switch there it's going to be a light at the top of the stairs so that's going to be really nice it looks amazing I really like I don't know it just amazes me how good a bit of framework can make it really shapes the house so and this is so this bedroom here this is um so the bed's going to be facing that way looking out the window lovely and you sort of see obviously you've got all these bits of wood quite close together here and then at the end this sort of 
that's going to be the doorway going into your ensuite, which is over there. I'm going to get back to the cleaning, but I'm absolutely buzzing. I really am. Just checking back in, guys. So now we have the framing of the wardrobe area in the ensuite slash dresser. So there's going to be a nice size wardrobe in there. We actually just got so into it earlier, you know, when I showed you all these sort of framing, we've got to put a door opening here, but we have now corrected that. So this will be the entrance into this room. So that's brilliant, but yeah. Now I've got a shape, it's gonna be lovely. You know, walk through here, get changed in this area, or you go into the ensuite and then get changed over here. But hey, looks amazing. Really, really pleased. I'm bringing you to a new vlog location. Me and Josh have just been to Wix to get some more timber and some plasterboard. Still some more timber, just put four by two and then just different lengths of timber. Me trying to be technical, not gonna quite cut it. So here it is in the van, just behind me, if you can see that, yeah. Some's on the roof actually, so yes, we are, we just had a bite to eat, cut meal deal, whoop whoop. And um, now we're gonna smash out the rest this afternoon. So there's lots of progress to be made and progress will be made. We now have a floor. I'm not gonna step on it just yet because the uh, glue is setting, but I'm sure it's fine to stand on. Every time I've got to turn off the radio and now I've just had to turn off Ronan Key, I'm sorry about that. But um, yes, we now have a floor, excellent. Everywhere we go, we always take the weather. The Australians certainly do because it's a sunny day today. So cheers, Josh. He's just uh, framing up outside for this. He's put the wires through. But this is going to be the new wall that separates the two bedrooms. Hey, okay. Nanny Joy and Grandma Peter, they slept in separate beds. So I've been making these again side to side. They were together 63 years, so must work. Not going to try anytime soon, though. No. Magic coming up with the kids. What a cheers. Before you know, you got a new wall. Sorry about the uh, interruption magic. Here is a new wall separating the bedrooms, excellente. So, new walls in, love it. The framework up here now is all taking place. I absolutely love it. The rooms are big and I think we're going to enjoy it. But yes, honestly, it's amazing. Just smashing it. We need to get some plasterboard up on these and some nogs, some nogs are what go in between. So I'm just sort of clearing up. I've been cutting carpet, so Mills, it's no trip hazards or anything like that, so I'll just show you. I've just been like cutting the carpet, so it's a bit better for Mills. I mean, I don't want her tripping up now, do I? So, um, it's all going in the right direction. Progress is going to be made. Trust the process always, and um, I'll check in with you soon. Mrs. H is on her way home to see the progress from today. I think she's just pulled up. Let's see what her reaction is to today's uh, progress. I mean, I think it's amazing, and I'm really pleased with what you've done today. Tomorrow, we're going to pull the plasterboard up. I think they're coming now. On camera. Oh. Hello, my little sweet boy. Hello, how are you? We've got, got a dining room table out. Yeah, that you said you wanted somewhere to eat. Oh, hello, Hughes. So, oh, let me oh. see in here. Not in there. Oh, no, go I'm on then. You, you, wait, wait, we'll go there last. Come okay, up. Okay, okay. Can't wait. So dopey. Oh, coming up. Hugo's coming up first. <laughs> <laughs> Where shall I go? Oh, wow. Adobe. Oh my god! Welcome. Oh my, oh my god! The rooms are amazing. Yeah, big, aren't they? Oh shiz! No swearing here. Yes, that's what I mean. No I swearing. Data. I absolute Josh is amazing. Done a good job, hasn't he? Oh wow! We got through it. We got through it. Wow, you did such a long day today, you two. I oh, know. A lovely oh. shaped room as well. It is. I love it. Did Bailey say you like the shape room? Yes, he did. It was really yeah, done well, haven't they? Mm. We had a tough day. We were, I was hard working hard today. It oh. was doing absolutely. That's all the plastering. Oh. He did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, baby, this is a lovely room. Yeah, this is in a nice size. Oh, wow. Right, guys, I'm going to catch up with my wife and have a little yeah, chat. Sorry. But, um... Oh, no, I love it. Yes. Hello. Oh, you. I missed you. Oh my god, so wow. Dopey. <laughs> oh, wow. Can you get a little through there? Yeah. Wow, OOTD. Oh, I need them, to, you show them my socks actually, don't lean on that son, it's not oh, the, yeah. uh, show them my socks. Oh, is he still standing? Look, he's been what? wearing oh, me today. Jumpsuit. What does it say on it, Spencer? I'm still standing. That's me there. Spencer. You were wearing 
me today. Oh, baby, you've done so amazingly. Josh has absolutely smashed it. Round of applause. Whoa. Oh, I didn't show her the on-street no. walking wardrobe. No, we I did haven't that seen side. this bill. Yeah. So yeah, oh. I've cut the carpet by the way, so it's all flat and not hazardous. Oh my god, that's such a nice wardrobe size. I know, it's brilliant, isn't it? And then you walk and in. And a lovely that. size on suite. Yeah. Oh my god. It's cool, isn't it? It's really cool. I'll be out, I'll be using the bath most for my bath bombs. Yeah, there he is. Thank you very <laughs> much, Hugo. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna enjoy yeah. your uncle. Yeah. She I'll will enjoy. Water, it? Yeah. Know, our little commentator. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Yes. I love it. And I love your face so much. I'm so close. I love it. Here we go. Then yeah, we're, we're going. Be yeah, of course. So, yeah. I've done Hugo's always following. I've done most. Of You've done absolutely right. nothing. You don't know what the shoes name work is. No shoes off. Shoes off. Okay. State ball with shoes. Dad's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, oh my God, you've put stuff down so we actually have a clean room. Yeah, so this is the clean room. Yeah, because this is being touched last, that. Yeah, Josh did Dad a bit said, today though. Did he? Yeah, you put this bit in, these, these trimmers. Yeah, and Dad did say we might as well get the plumbers back because you never know, things might move quicker and we could get this on sweet done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Dad said then he can get on with the tiling. Yeah, come on, boy, just, you know, just, just tell us what to do. Oh, really. no, look, brilliant. So, yeah, just... Um, this is amazing. Stuff, so, yeah. Oh my God, what's that? Where'd you get that one from? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy today. Wow. Yeah, oh my god, it's brilliant. Well done. All, All right. of her stuff. That's brilliant. Oh, you're amazing. Yeah, I've probably got about 10 minutes. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll film a bit tomorrow. Okay, cool. Because Josh is coming yeah, back. Definitely. Yes. All we right. love you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to day two of the weekend. Today, we're doing the final bits of vlogs and we're doing some plaster boarding. I'm actually getting involved, so I've just. Josh just told me what I've got to do, so I'm really excited to do it because I've never done it and I'm learning something new. The plasterboard I should be cutting and putting it on the wall. I'm really excited to do this because I love getting involved. So yeah, let me take you through the process. I think this is a horrendous angle, but we're just going to go with it because I can't hold it up. So, oh, who's this? Oh, this is the plasterer. So basically, you'll probably notice from this bed that it's not mine. So, if you didn't watch my latest Q&A with Spencer, we did explain sort of staying at my dad's and staying at my mum's um, and why that's difficult. So my mum lives in the New Forest and my dad obviously lives so close to us in Brighton. So, we're here loving life because basically we've moved in with my dad now. We've been here for three days and we're going to be here for another, another week, another week minimum. Um, so basically, it was sort of crunch time when Spencer had knocked all the walls through and there was just so much dust in the house, so much dust in the house. My dad was like, I'm gonna rearrange things. I'm gonna sort things out. Like you have to be here. Um, and I was like, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. And my dad was like, no, I am worried. Like we need to sort this out. Um, obviously we looked at an Airbnb and we looked at different things, but obviously I'd rather be at my dad's house with my dad. Like much more you know oh my god you're so clever I'm sorry you are so clever you make mommy want to cry such a mover and a shaker so yeah update we're at my dad's and then my dad basically explained to us when the plasterer comes in which is on Thursday that we can't physically be in the house because the plasterer is painting painting plastering the whole upstairs and obviously the upstairs are where all the beds are and where the bedrooms are and you can't sleep under plaster or be in plaster, especially during pregnancy. Um, and there's lots of fiberglass, etc., going into the walls for the ventilation and the, not the ventilation, insulation. So yeah, my dad was like, you're gonna have, you, you have to be with me, like you have to be with me. And I feel guilty because my dad is just amazing. Like we'll cook us all our meals and it just, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I've eaten probably better here than I have my whole pregnancy. Um, and it's nice because we've got hot water like I can have a shower. It's amazing. <laughs> so, and also my little brother's here for a while. So it's nice to be able to spend time with him. And me and Spencer are just actually happy to just be in a room. We're just so grateful. So yeah, that's the update. Um, we had a massive blip. <sighs> we had a massive blip and I don't know whether I've all explained this to you, but basically we need the plastering done downstairs. However, our plasterer He's actually been pushed back so many times by us because basically we booked the plasterer in way too early. We booked the plasterer in 
when we didn't really realise that the electrics and the plumbing had to be done. So then when the electricians, we had the nightmare with the electricians and we had to find a new electrician um, because everyone went down with COVID in this one firm that we were working with, we basically then had to push the plaster back and back and back. So he's had to bring other jobs forward. So now he's got limited time that he can be with us. Um, and it means that he's going on holiday the week that we really need him to do the downstairs. So basically now it's been like a race to try and sort out um, a plasterer, which has been a little bit difficult, but actually I think we're, I think we're there. I think we're there. We've got a guy coming around today to see if he'll do the plastering of the downstairs. So basically we've got to have the upstairs done. That's fine, but we need the downstairs done because we've got no lights downstairs at the moment because the electricians were like, if I do the downstairs lights for you, it basically means that we're going to be here a lot longer and you want us out so the plasterer can come in. Um, little did he know that the plasterer <laughs> isn't coming in for downstairs yet. Um, so yeah, it was just one of those ones where we were like, okay, what are we going to do? Keep putting off the plasterer. And then I had a breakdown because I did actually have just an absolute, like, cried to my mum, cried to my dad, cried to Spencer, sat in the car just crying my eyes out because I was like, oh my God, like, I'm not going to have a kitchen because basically until the downstairs is car uh, carpeted, until the downstairs is plastered, we can't get a kitchen in. We can't get a kitchen in because we can't physically put flooring down, we can't paint, we can't get the kitchen in and we can't have electrics downstairs. So, you know, the things I said to Spencer are, I don't care if the house is just covered in plaster, dried, obviously, because all the moisture's out and that's fine for us to live in. But I need one bathroom. I don't need, I don't need, but I'd like, okay, I don't need, I don't need, that sounds awful. I'm saying before baby girl comes, the dream would be to have her room, our room, so, you know, I can wake up in the night with her going to her room or, you know, change her nappy and then one room for us, me and Spencer to be in with her for the first six months. Um, a bathroom because obviously we need running water and we need a toilet um, and a kitchen so all the en suites and the other bedrooms and the lounge I don't give a shit about I'm very grateful to have those rooms but I really don't care I don't need those rooms I need a kitchen to be able to have food um, and I know I don't want this to come across bad because I know that there are so many people out there that are like well, I don't have that I don't have a kitchen I know there are so many people that are struggling you know I get messages all the time about girls being in shelters and um hostels and different things like that so please don't ever think I'm being condescending to you I'm just explaining my situation of what I would like feasibly done before baby girl comes because that's my worry you know so with all of her stuff being in storage now it's like oh I just want to be able to get it out and nest but I did say something to my midwife I'll, I'll leave it I'll leave it but I did say something to my midwife and she was like good way of looking at it good way of looking at it so that is the update we are finding plasterers so we can get the downstairs done wish us luck that was the meltdown <laughs>
and uh, on this side, this will be done on this side as well. So yeah, I had to go to Wix and get another 25 sheets. We've completed this room. I have a very important person cutting it all up for me. So I've been doing the drilling. Look who we have here, people. Oh, here we go, here we go. Roped him in. Thanks very much for your help, Ben. Yeah, I couldn't wait to get back to doing plasterboarding yeah. and all my favourite things. Yeah, exactly. Were you good at it? Smashing well, it I don't out. know about good at it. Smashing it. So I'm glad you're here. On the last chance saloon that we're in. <laughs> oh, there's the big man, Bowie Boy. Look at Dad on the decks. Oh, yeah. wow. Look at Bowie. A happy place. Dad, you're brilliant. Really? Yeah, I'd like to see what's been going in. Hello, puppy love. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, we have a hallway. Sexy. Uh, I've done a bit of vlogging to a minute ago. Hey. Got a special guest on. Oh, my God. It looks Ben's really... Salad. It looks good, doesn't it? Uh, I'm coming. Have you got food? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. I haven't got... I'll get you some food. Oh my god. Done this this the whole wall's done. Yeah. Mike's got cold. Plaster's cold. He's all set Thursday. Brilliant. Upstairs. Upstairs, you know it. So right? tomorrow we'll be getting all this stuff ready, but this is brilliant. I know. So yeah. We've... Looks amazing. What's Paul doing? Dad's Cutting. I'm, I'm, I'm screwing. Wow, are you enjoying it? Yeah, it's good. So oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, Look at this. Oh, and all that's been done at the bottom there. Yeah. Baby girl's nursery. Good. Looks amazing. Good. How are you? Good. This looks amazing. Oh my god, it's brilliant. It's really coming together. It's a house. It's actually a house. Oh my god. Here we are then, back at the Holy Grail, getting a few bits of plasterboard, some screws. Let's get in there. Let's do this. This stuff has been my life for the last week and a half. Last of all, in all its glory. In the back, let's go. Covered in it. Oh well. Here we go then. Got all the bits we need. All the plasterboard. Got the screws as well. I'm not going to go to tool station. Let's get it back in the van. Let's go. Mummy, do some. Mummy, do something. Just push in. Put, put your weight behind it when you do it. Perfect. Oh, wow, damn. clever girl, mummy's girl. Mm. So beautiful angels, we ended up finding a plasterer for the downstairs. So the guy that's gonna do the upstairs, he's gonna finish by Wednesday next week. Then the plaster is gonna come in to do the downstairs. Because basically, like I said, we can't move forward without a plasterer. But luckily, I think there's all my receipts in this shot. But luckily, my dad was there to speak to the plasterer and sort of go through everything with him. And he's a really good price. He's really good. So he's going to get it all sorted downstairs for us because then we can start doing the flooring downstairs. Baby love's coming in. So we can do the flooring downstairs, which can get done. I was just explaining that the plaster is all sorted for downstairs, which is yeah. positive. Really positive because Spencer had to deal with me breaking down, didn't you, puppy love? Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good, Mr. Positive. Love that from him. Um, so yeah, really positive. It's going to be a race to the finish, but it's perfect. It's brilliant. It's going well. We're getting there. This week's going to be a really positive week. Fingers crossed. There's lots of different things that I can update you on. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you on Saturday in a new video, which isn't renovation related. And really hope you like it. And if you like the renovation content, it's every single Tuesday. I love you guys so much. Until next time, I'm going to love you and I'm going to leave you.